Welcome to module two, conflict analysis. So for this module, you're going to analyze, not summarize. For the last module, you summarized. Now you need to analyze. You get to play a critic. So you will watch the documentary, What the Health? Then you will find another source that basically is on the same topic or subject, but it's different. And you will analyze the strengths and the weaknesses. You are definitely the critic here. You get to say, this was great. This could be better. Um, you definitely get to give a brief summary of what they were about, of course, for the purpose of the analysis. But the bulk of the assignment is you analyzing strengths, weaknesses, what was great, what could be better. There are many things to help you with this assignment. So again, make sure you read every single link in module two. If you don't, you will be confused. Each one of those items is there as lecture material to prepare you for this assignment. Um, you will do a peer review for this one. So you all will get to look at each other's work and give each other feedback before you submit it to me. So double check the peer review dates because if you submit it late, you can't earn credit because everyone has to be on time so that one student's punctuality does not um, affect another student. Everybody is crunched here. Everybody has a lot going on. So for the peer review, you will need to be on time. So look ahead to make time to make that happen. Um, for your peer review, make sure you scroll. Don't just look at the first people that post and edit their paper. Everyone needs feedback. So look around and try to make sure everybody gets at least two people to give them feedback for their peer edit because that's what you need. Um, there's reading assignments. There should be all kind of resources there for you. But I just wanted to briefly explain, you will analyze, not summarize. You will watch a documentary, then you'll pick another source about the same topic or subject and just analyze the two. You definitely wanna make an outline for this assignment because what happens is it all starts to run together. So you wanna say, all right, paragraph one, I'm gonna summarize the point of both of these sources that I'm analyzing. Then maybe in paragraph two, I'm going to analyze the strengths and weaknesses of both. Or maybe I'm just going to do it for one source. And in paragraph two, I'll analyze different strengths and weaknesses. Maybe I'll do both at the same time, alternate paragraphs. Make sure you have an outline for this assignment. And the outline is not long. Just say a few words of what you're putting in each paragraph and keep that by your side while you're composing this essay to avoid aggravation, frustration, and getting off topic. And as always, look at the rubric so you can see what I am looking for. Look at the examples I provided you for students who took this course and got an A. You need in-text citations. You need a works cited page. So make sure you figure out how to do that properly for videos or whatever sources you choose. And as always, let me know if you have questions. Enjoy the conflict analysis.